Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. We're, we're uh, looking at Psalm 134, and I got to ask you this question. Do you like to sing and praise God? See, some of you are resounding yes. You love to sing. In fact, you wish that we had more music in our services and less preaching. Others of you are like, nah, not really. Well, here's the thing. If you don't love to sing and praise God, you're probably not quite ready for heaven. And I know that may be sobering for some of you and affirming for some of you. But here's the thing. In heaven, we're going to praise God with our whole being forever and ever. Amen. Psalm 134 is a psalm of ascents. In other words, people sang it or quoted it on their way to Jerusalem to worship God in the temple. And that was a big deal for them. They didn't get to go there every day, so they were going on a special trip, a pilgrimage there, so they could worship God. And here's what they said. Come, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, who stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands to the holy place and bless the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, he who made heaven and earth. See, they expect God to bless them, so they offer praise to God. That, that's what they're saying. Basically, God, we're going to bless you because you are blessing us, and we're going to your place to be blessed, and we want you to bless us all the time. So, friends, we have been blessed by God. So much that, that we can't even count the blessings. So because we've been blessed by God so much, we should praise Him all the time. We should praise God for mercy because your sins are forgiven. At least I hope your sins are forgiven. If you believe in Jesus, they are. We should praise God for grace because heaven is our home even though we deserve to go to hell. We should praise God for His presence because through the Holy Spirit who indwells us, God is with us all the time and He'll never leave us or forsake us. We should praise God for peace because He comforts us. In our afflictions, in our sorrows, he is with us, weeping with us. We should praise God for truth because if we abide in God's word, then we are truly disciples of Jesus and we will know the truth and the truth will set us free. We should praise God for love because he pursued us and bought us with the blood of Jesus, demonstrating his love for us, God's love for us, in this while we were sinners, Christ died for us. We should praise God for blessings because everything you have that you call good is given to you by God. So praise God. He is worthy of your praise. And as you bless God, guess what? Your life will be blessed by God. So uh, praise God, because I hope this blesses you today.